When we were children, there was a one room that had a little museum that where all kinds of things were laid out that had wonderful wooden boxes stacked one on top of the other. And every now and again, Father would allow us a key and we'd open them. And here would be all the papers to do with that particular pair, just neatly bundled up and just packed tightly away. The, the Canadian story was was the one that really dominated us. We, we'd we had enough of marbles and, and all the rest of it. And, and we really, as children, we really rather enjoyed the Canadian side. There were the um, Canadian Indian moccasins, which were very attractive. And then, of course, uh, there were the snowshoes. That always was great fun. The idea was to have as much snow as you could put on great-grandfather's snowshoes and go out in it. Not that we ever did, because we never really had enough snow. And then there were two marvellous greatcoats, all lined with fur, beautiful wild mink fur, and, and a hat. I found that, unfortunately, the ancestor's head was rather smaller than mine, so I'd never be able to wear it comfortably. It was a pity, I felt, that people in Canada were not able to to see them and touch them and so on and only hear about them. There came a moment when there was a place that they could they could go to where they would become, as, as they were in our house, a part of our family. They were going to go back to be part of the family that was Canada.